So recently I had a fly out, uh, recently meaning today, I had a fly out of the G56. If you notice, this isn't spaded yet. And I actually have this in a preset or lineup called Buckshot BR because the, it's all over the place. So as low as 4.3 and as high as 5.7. Um, but I've been having, you know, I guess with the higher uh, BR planes the grind is usually uh, more severe and if you look at the modification prices here they're substantial and I'm almost done I mean it became a lot easier once I got the uh, the uh, the engine modifications done um, as you can see here I'm almost done there then I have these and then I'm done um, so yeah um, and of course I added a talisman to this to help with the grind and it does help um, but if you look at my current stats for this particular plane G56 here I've flown it a total of nine times and I bought this probably a month month ago maybe um, of those nine battles, I got 19 kills and I died seven times. Um, the victory to battle ratio is atrocious. Um, but hey, the plane's not quite spaded, which is why I tend to die a bit more, uh, because you take more risks. Um, the plane isn't really up to speed, but this thing, even without being spaded, even fully stocked, the climb rate isn't all that bad but uh, I put it my crew wasn't and I found I found this out with all of the G55s uh, my crew wasn't robust enough and I was having issues blacking out and with this particular plane I black out more than I do with the G55 and I, th I thought that was bad so uh, I need to either take my time make sure I don't black out until I get my crew uh, uh, I guess up to speed uh, I mean I was talking like I I had a uh, several uh, solutions, but that's really the only solution. So, uh, um, it's a good plane. Um, I like it a lot. And in this particular match, I usually don't fly high BRs. I'm usually comfortable at the BR 3.0 range. Um, I have been flying a lot of f in the 4.3 and 4.7 range. Uh, you can see here uh, these planes at least with those G55s um, I have been flying those out a lot um, and my stats for those planes are substantial and I haven't owned this one I got this one at the beginning of October and I've got 401 kills uh, 410 kills uh, and within 97 battles of 53 deaths um, in my opinion that's not bad at all uh, with the Serie 1, 110 kills, 35 deaths, and 52 battles. And with the Soda Serie 0, 104 kills, 30 deaths, and 49 battles. So, not not bad at all. Um, these, uh, these planes are nice. I used to hate them because... Uh, I, I used to get my ass handed to me all the time. Uh, sometimes I can't outrun them. And I think one time I was flying the D9 and I got walked by a G55. And I forget which variant it was. I don't think it was the S. It might have been the S. Um, but I was actually surprised because I didn't think they... And, and I'm talking like in the 700 kph range, 800 kph. And I'd run out of altitude and uh, this guy was still catching me so I don't know if he managed his dive better or what but uh I've slowly started figuring out how to kill these guys and the only reason I did that was when I started flying these I used to avoid these with a passion unless I could catch one no I can catch one unaware or make them stall out trying to climb up to me so um now that I know how to better deal with them, I, I, I kill them a lot more often. 
but I still am wary of them um, because they are they are dangerous planes. Um, it's very easy to get caught out with these things. That uh, you know, it's very easy to misjudge their energy state as well. So, um, with all that being said, we'll head on and and play this replay here or this video.
Uh, that's the most kills I got in, in one battle with the uh, G56. Of course, I haven't flown it all that much. Uh, we're not going to do that yet. So we've got tier one completed. Damn, look at the look at the cost of these uh, modifications. So we've got all the engine stuff done. Damn. That's done. That's done. Might as well knock this one out. But let's take a look at this real quick. So nine kills and one death, I believe. Yep. Second in the match, 2,730 points. Uh, 5,798 modification points. Vehicle research points are 2,162. Um, seven critical hits. Uh, th that's actually pretty significant. Um, battle time here. Activity 88%. I was actually pretty busy. We did fail, so we didn't get as many RP, uh, the, I guess the, the bonus for accomplishing the mission. But yeah. Uh, we got two kills in the 55S and seven kills in the 56, which is actually good. So we got the best squad. Nothing else is jumping out at me. I didn't look at the chat log. Okay, he's blocked because I blocked him before. No idea what he said. I block noisy uh, chatters or uh, aggressive and abusive chatters but anyways uh, we'll go ahead and save this one this is actually good That G56 is a, uh, is a monster. It's a climb king. So, let's take a look at its stats. I haven't owned it that long. So, 19 kills. 7 deaths. That's all within 9 battles. So that's, uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, the victory to battle ratio, not so hot. And plus this plane, um, it was re it's not a premium plane, so I have to fly it unspaded. And so it's, it's risk, you have to take more risk when you do it. More, more risk means more deaths, uh, more potential for death. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got this one. So I have to do all 12 of these. But I thought that me buying the premium plane gave me access to the the beta testing another thing is there's this what the hell is the officers club I have no idea what any of that is but uh anyways I'm at le uh, level 82 now hell in another couple of months maybe two months I'll be at level 100 Every couple of days, I, I gain more, and it's it's because of the uh, the premium account. But yeah, G fifty six, great plane.